Monster Energy, a massive name in the energy drinks industry and across many different forms of motorsport, has made headlines today on this random Tuesday evening, as they have elected to end their long-standing partnership with the Mercedes F1 team and move over to the McLaren team instead. Now this comes after two disappointing seasons from Mercedes as they struggled with the harsh conditions of the 2022 regulations, dropping them from a formidable frontrunner team to a team scrapping at the front of the midfield. Many promises made on a return to form by the Brackley-based outfit, but the Silver Arrows have not been able to deliver on them, being lapped many a time by former arch-rival Max Verstappen and being absolutely schooled at certain races such as Ferrari, McLaren and Aston Martin. I mean, if you really want to pull straws, Lewis struggled to even get an overtake done on the inferior Alfa Tauri of Yuki Tsunoda at the last Grand Prix in Abu Dhabi. And while this is testament to a struggling bond between a competitive driver and a lacklustre car, at the end of the day, the results speak to the team sponsors and despite Monster Energy having shared lots of success with the team in earlier years, particularly a key sponsor who have been present within the outfit's ranks since their inception into the sport, have decided that their money is better spent on the likes of the more resurgent and promising McLaren team. Now you can argue that McLaren, while finishing 107 points behind Mercedes in the Constructors' Championship, have had a much more mentally relaxing and successful season. The Papaya team struggled immensely at the beginning of the season, failing to make it out of Q1 in qualifying and struggled to finish in the points, the only cars that they were able to battle and strike being themselves. However, a rethought design philosophy paired with a competitive upgrade package as well as one of the most competitive lineups in Landon Norris and Oscar Piastri immediately swung the battle round in their favour. Podiums, pole positions, fighting for big points finishes suddenly became the norm for McLaren and they cemented fourth in the standings, something that seemed impossible back in April. Mercedes, on the other hand, have been at a complete standstill in their pace since the beginning of the 2022 season. Whilst picking up a win in Brazil last year, their pace has never been on a forward trajectory. At some circuits, the W13 was in contention for the podium and then at some circuits, the Silver Arrows were unable to even break into the points. All of these factors combined put together a strong case for Monster Energy to part ways with the three-pointed star. This will no doubt give us a different looking Mercedes brand package for 2024. The team has always sported prominent monster branding on driver helmets and suits, with Lewis Hamilton even receiving his own flavour of the famous drink. But a lack of sponsorship on the car, along with McLaren's warm and welcoming approach to displaying and endorsing partners, was probably a heavy bargaining chip to throw into the pot. All in all, this shows that drivers and team staff aren't the only assets to be poached by rival teams, but even sponsors too. What do you think of the news? Were you as equally surprised as I was? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.